Hello friends, uh, today we are uh, viewing um, a couple boxes here from a company called Sea Light. Uh, these are LED lights for uh, headlights for a Pathfinder 2008. At least that's the one I have, but you go by the model number and that may apply to other vehicles and models. I'm not sure which ones, but the user's manual usually will tell you that under the I think it's a maintenance and care section in the user's manual. So this one is 9007, and that's what my user's manual says. And it also says HB5 next to it, but this doesn't say, but in the listing itself, the title, it does say that. And the model is S1 from this company. That's for the headlight, and these are for the fog light. My Pathfinder has a fog light um, lights. Uh, in, installed already from factory um, but I thought since I'm changing or if I'm going to change the headlights to white bright LEDs I might as well do the same with the fog lights otherwise we'll you know maybe look weird but um, the model number for the fog lights my vehicle user's manual says it's H11 and this is H11 F2 for the company model um, now, they go by lumens for brightness, of course, and I chose, as I think it's 6,000 uh, K for brightness, uh, for, uh, sorry, uh, color temperature, 6,000 K. That's kind of above uh, daylight, so it's like kind of bluish white, uh, but it's very, very faded blue. You won't see it, uh, but the brightness is 9,000 lumens. Uh, I think that's for both. So each one will be 4,500 lumens. And these are 6,000 lumens. So each light is 3,000 lumens for brightness. Also 6,000 K um, for uh, color temperature. So they were sealed in a shrink wrap. I opened them up last night. And there is a user's manual. You can see my fingerprints on it. But I was looking through it yesterday and there is a video on YouTube you can watch about how to install the stuff. So it comes with these uh, double side tape and four zip ties. You can use them if you would like. And this is fanless design for both of them. They don't have fans. So there is the heat sink. I'm just going to pull this thing out so you can see the whole thing. It also comes with couple of uh, gloves here a pair of gloves to use while installing them of course don't touch the old or the new bulbs with your bare hands since oils from your skin will eventually burn the bulb um, at least that's what they say so this is how it comes this is the heat sink this twist is twist is <laughs> this is heat sink and this twists out and when you install it, you install it, this is vertical. So the LEDs will be at nine, uh, three and nine o'clock um, in your headlight assembly. And you will plug in this into your uh, uh, headlight connector for the vehicle. So that's for the headlights and fog lights, sort of same design. <laughs> but I think the thing is blue instead of red same thing about extended warranty it did not say what the warranty is to start with but it it said register to extend it six months now i'm not sure what the warranty is but hopefully they continue to work we don't have to use the warranty but i'm going to try to remove this from the box with one hand ah, difficult Let me put the phone down. Okay. So, these are the fog lights. Sort of similar design. So see. Ah, it's not focusing. And I need a tripod for this. Okay. And there is the connector. Uh, 
Okay, so I'll, I'll go outside and show you uh, at least the vehicle connections here before I do anything. The head uh, the headlight seems to be easy to reach inside of the ca uh, car engine uh, bay. Um, fog lights maybe need to remove a few screws to get to the assembly so you can switch the bulbs. I'm not even sure if you can do bulbs alone, but I, I suspect so. It wouldn't make sense not to be able to. And they also come with a pair of gloves like the other ones did. All right, so we'll go outside. Okay, friends, so I've got the hood popped on my uh, 2008 Pathfinder. You can see the headlight is uh, faded a little and these are the fog lamps. They are not as faded, but the other headlamp but let me show you it's very um, easily accessible to replace the headlamp so the inside you see that big one big connector there that's the headlamp and you've got a couple more here if you are interested in doing which I'm I am I, I will probably be replacing the turning signal as well if they have a specific turning signal that's also LED but I would suspect it needs to be amber or yellow but that's the tail signal I mean uh, turning signal and this is the headlamp and that's for the right side assembly and this is the left side assembly where the battery is uh, let's see where is it yeah it's back there behind the wire also easily accessible there is that and then these other uh, bulbs that you need to or you want to if you want to to change um, this battery needs replacing as well it's also uh, yeah it's been there for two three years now so I need to replace it too but stay tuned I'll show you how it looks like when it's only uh, one side installed so we'll see the difference all right thanks and that will be at night of course when it's dark all right friends so i showed you the video earlier and these um, headlights were uh, faded so you can see now they are cl crystal clear and i'll show you why i decided to clean them it is the one on the right one on the left if you are driving but they were faded, uh, if you noticed the previous few minutes, they were faded and I used this. Um, Meguiar's headlight restoration kit, two-step kit. And it took a few minutes to do and uh, with the assistance of a drill, you know, um, clear it out and then put a coating, protective coating on it. And uh, they turned out to be fantastic. Um, I don't know how much this was. I bought it uh, many years ago, maybe three, four, five years ago. I haven't used it. I just remembered I had it. So I used it and this is how it looks like. I'm, I'm completely surprised by the results. Hopefully it will last, but you can see how clear these are. But anyhow, um, the main reason of the video is the LED lights. Let me turn on the lights. So I only changed the right side. So there you go. This side still yellow. All right, this is yellow. And then this side is white. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap the other one too. Um, you can see the difference here. It's amazing. Now I just want it to get dark so I can see is it really further and brighter or is it maybe just different color but not really brighter. So anyhow, stay tuned. Thanks. 
So guys, there is definite, definite improvement in brightness and how far the light goes ahead of the vehicle when using LEDs. So you can see they are almost both same brightness, but it's very obvious the one on the right, the white LED, is brighter and uh, more broad than the yellow one. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap this other one too. So there is the, you can see even the fog light. See the fog lamp hitting on the ground there and versus this yellow one. Let me go back up in here and see if you can. See the brightness is extreme very very bright on the right side so I'm going to go ahead and just swap them both and uh, we'll use them for a while and see how they turn out all right thank you so much for watching uh, subscribe to the channel also like the video and share it and uh, if you uh, want to see more of these videos of course uh, subscribing and ringing the or clicking on the ring bell up there so you can be notified Apparently my phone tells me the brightness level So my phone tells me this white one is 6,000 Isn't that amazing? I just noticed this white balance is 6,000 and when I'm moving here It's 5,000 5,000 K Huh, I didn't notice this before so how about the fog light? Fog light is 5,500K. Oh, here is Senor. <laughs> okay, bye. Well, friends, uh, so I decided to order the turning signal LED bulbs. So you can see my turning signal indicator here is clear plastic it's not orange so the bulb itself is orange or amber so I did purchase this one here it comes with two bulbs I asked specifically and they said they fit the front turning signal um, so this is the brand name parts AM lighting accessories this was I think $15.99 and it just comes with the package of two bulbs let me show you how the bulb looks like and I'm going to go ahead and install one of them to see how they will look like but uh, let me remove one out of the package so of course don't touch the LEDs themselves with your bare hand but so this is how they look like so it's about 60 LEDs uh, according to the description we put it here I can't do it without 60 LEDs uh, 30 of them will be amber and 30 white so generally it will be on on white but when you turn your turning signal on it will be off on off on on the amber ones at least that's what they said in the description so I'm gonna try replacing that and see what happens i'm gonna turn the led lights on and just so you can see the difference it's not complete dark now so it may be better so here is the okay let me show you so there is the original one now I suspect this new one will be, instead of amber, will be white, which is fine, because I don't usually use them without the front LED and the um, fog lights on, so it should be fine. But let me turn the LED lights on, and the reason I got them is because I want them to be visible when I'm using the LED lights and the turning signal. So of course now you can see almost not that visible so let me turn the hazard lights on 
because the car would keep beeping at me. So I turned on the hazard lights there. So I just want to show you the different brightness. So at night, if you are in a car in front of me, uh, you know, facing me, you may not see the blinker on, which I want you to see. <laughs> so imagine you are here. It's really hard to tell if the blinker is on or not. So I'm going to see if the LED will make it easier. Okay, stay tuned. Well, guys, I have a problem. Look here. The socket is out, it's that white thing, but the bulb is still in there. <laughs> so the bulb fell inside the assembly. So now I have to use something to fish it out. I'll try with my fingers first and then see if I'm lucky. It's a, it's a considerable size of bulb, so I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but it's this size. But I have this tool I'm gonna try to use it and it has LED light in the front and you press it and a hook comes out from the front like so so we'll see if that's a good tool to use I had it for years I never used it so no, no maybe it's a good time to use it so I'm gonna try my best to remove it I plugged it in turned it on and I'm like why is it not turning on apparently the <coughs> ball fell off the socket it's a, just you put it in and I suspect if, if this happened, it may happen in the future too. But, okay, we'll let you know. Well, friends, uh, if you saw earlier, the bulb fell inside the assembly. <laughs> so I got lucky and removed it. It just took me maybe 20 minutes to try to wiggle it around there and use a couple of tools. I used this tool here and I made up my own tool, which is a, just an old wire with a electrical wire with some duct tape in the front to simulate the double side tape. Um, but the old ball, this is how it looks like, by the way, when it's on, it's only white, it's like on white. But when it's uh, blinking, it blinks orange, which is good, which is what I like. This is. This is the type they call switchback LEDs. So these are not the ones that will create hyper, uh, hyper flashing. So these are switchbacks and uh, that's how they are working just like the old ones, uh, the original ones. The problem is the connection is weak in the, in the base there. Like I wonder even if I put it in and everything after a while of, of driving, you know, bumps in the road and stuff, it might fall off inside the assembly again. So I'm going to use this tape this is a tape i purchased from amazon it's designed to um, uh, be used on low voltage electrical and other things and it is um, uh, resistant to water moisture acid all these things that's uh, it makes it a good candidate to just wrap around there and hopefully uh, keeps it in place so i'm gonna do that before i replace them both this is still the original which seems bright, but if the LEDs are on, the headlights, it will not be visible. So, I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to put the tape on it and see how it looks like. Thanks. Hello, friends. So, I purchased that LED, as you saw in the video, that first one. And that doesn't even click in the spot, so I'm not going to even use that. But I did not test, apparently, uh, using hazard lights and uh, uh, just the daytime learning lights is different than using turning signal because turning signal requires the relay and that's where the hyper flashing happens. So when I tested this one last time, I thought it doesn't do hyper flashing, but I didn't test the turning signal actually. So it may do that as well. but. I wasn't going to use it just because it doesn't uh, click in the spot, in the in the socket, so it will fall inside the uh, assembly like it did the first time. So I'm not going to even use this at all. But I went ahead and purchased four different models, four other ones. Some of them uh, are $26, some of them are like uh, $15, but this is the one I like the most, it's the brightest and everything, but they all do hyper flash. They all work good. 
with the hazard lights on um, and uh, 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 daytime running lights on but when you use a turning signal it just doesn't do it they just flash uh, quickly a uh, hyper flash so the relay is telling you there is no bulb in there although there is one it just they use uh, less power but let me demonstrate so I have this one plugged in right now right here well, let me show you the engine is on for the reason of me testing the uh, turning signal so see that there it is so the top of it does that and then the side does that now even affects the back turning signal so even the back turning signal is hyper flashing even though this is a halogen bulb I didn't change this one but you can see when it's turning signal it does that so I think what I'm gonna do I'm just going to leave the original bulb in I might buy a replacement that is maybe newer or brighter they are not expensive but I'll just stick with halogen I don't want to do splicing and installing something different like a resistor in there let me turn the engine off hold on okay so I had the engine on just so I could use the turning signal because it wouldn't be activated if the engine is off so I turned it off now since we see the hyper flashing um, I'm going to return them all to Amazon I think it's kind of waste of effort to try to do uh, LEDs for a turning signal then you'll have to put some uh, load resistors in there and you have to splice in that and I'm, I'm not a car mechanic or a, a car uh, electrical uh, genius so I don't want to make some bigger problems than it's not worth uh, the effort the car has <laughs> worked fantastically uh, since 2008 and uh, I don't want to do any uh, additional problems that we don't need to I might just find the exact same bulb you know halogen uh, maybe different brand maybe this is I think it's Sylvania maybe something different uh, newer maybe brighter if not it's still fine just nothing wrong with this I just wanted it to be very bright and visible but okay I think that's all um, um, all right thank you so much if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below and I will respond back to you uh, thank you so much bye